Hello fellow detectorists. Yes, I'm back out again eventually at last. As you can see, most of the crops have been harvested up here now on permission number three. Um, but it is the 30th of July. They actually started cutting this a couple of weeks ago. They did two fields first um, and they did the rest of it the last couple of days. Um, I have been out actually a couple of times since I was out all the last time which was when the crop was so tall and it was still green. Um, and I did get a couple of fines, I'll show you those like I do sometimes in, in some of my videos, I'll show you what those, the finds I had on that day, but it wasn't enough to make a video, so. But you'll see those finds. There was one find actually was quite interesting, was quite nice. I'm still unsure actually as to what it is, but you'll see that shortly. But here today, it's the 30th of July, it's a normal Saturday, my normal day out. Um, but like I say, I have been out a couple of times, but the last time I was out, I came out last weekend and had to go home early because my tripod on my camera broke. And I could have stayed, but there was, like I say, there was only two fields that had been cut then. But they've all been done now. So we'll see what we get. And as usual, you'll see me at the first find. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our first find and it looks like a very small little strap end. It is decorated, it's been shaped, the end is bent over but you can see it there. On the other side you can just see a little, just there I think it's like a little rivet mark. On the other side you can see that this would have been a, a twin layer. It's one of these ones where they sandwich the belt between the two sides and then rivet it. But that looks like a little tiny little belt strap end to me. So that's nice. That's our first find. Anyway, we'll carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our next target and it is another little buckle, um, but this one's more modern and as you can see it was at one time silvered, but that's, that's a lot later one that one, I should imagine probably part of um, horse equipment or horse tack, maybe some kind of um, saddle strap or saddle um, attachment buckle anyway we'll carry on here we go folks we've got our next find it is only a button but it's quite a nice one it's a gold gilded one and that looks like a, a fist and an arm poking up holding some kind of branch either a plant or a tree branch I think I've had one like this before a while ago it had this sort of design on it got the shank very gold gilded it's come out quite nice actually still we'll carry on
Here we go folks, we've got our next find, and it is only a fragment. It's come from just down here in front of us. And it is this, look. Now that's quite nice. Um, it has got these blue bits on it. Well, it's been enameled, I guess. I don't know what I would expect. It's got these bits on the back here, which... But I can see... I can see a bit of decoration just there, look. Um, apart from the blue enamel on here. That's interesting. Now I don't know if that's a decorated, part of a decorated Roman brooch or buckle. But if you've seen anything like that, let me know. Brilliant. It looks like there might be something in the middle here. Pity that wasn't whole. Anyway, let's carry on. Lovely. Bye for now.
Right then folks, we've just had our first find and I I honestly don't believe this. I've walked from that tree over there where I just did my intro. So what's that? 40, 50 yards, maybe a bit more to this spot here. And I had a good signal and I thought that must be on the surface. It was giving me, uh, first of all, it was giving me about 90. And I thought, oh, it's got to be a bit of a lead or something like that near the surface. Well, you can see the hole just down here, the other side of my coil. And it was right near the surface, admittedly. But look at this. Now, it looks like a really nice little horse harness pendant. You can see the loop here at the top. How about that? That's my first find today. Now I am in one of my, on one of my favourite little corners here of permission number three. I've had a couple of um, horse harness pendants from this this area. How about that? That's lovely. I'm going to give it a little bit of water, not too much. I'll see if it improves the look of it or whatever. Only slightly, don't worry. And if it does, I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you'll probably see some photos of it shortly. Bye for now. How about that? Brilliant. Yes, yeah, so there we go. I've given it a little spray, but I've literally just sprayed it a couple of times and just dabbed it on my towel. Um, and you can see it's got like a some lines going across it, and there might be a bit of detail just below the suspension loop at the top there, but otherwise, uh, not much other detail on it than that. Um, I have just found in my um, my finds pouch actually it's still in there. I've got this piece as well, which is what you saw earlier, um, with the enamelling on it, as you can see there. I'd love to know what that was. Um, I don't think it was a buckle, because it's got these big protrusions, if you like, on the back here, which a buckle wouldn't have had. So, I keep thinking of a, maybe a probably an, an enameled stirrup mount or something like that anyway lovely we'll carry on see what the next one is Here we go folks, we've got our next target and it is a coin. I don't know how old it is, I can just see Britannia on the back there. I hope you're in focus, but it's so sunny I can't see the screen. Um, I don't think it's that old, but I'll give it some water. And we'll have a closer look. Back in a moment. Yes, here we go folks, I just gave it a bit of a spray, and I can see on there, quite clearly actually, it's not in bad condition. Um, it's, a, it's a George III halfpenny, so, see Britannia on the back, and when it's wet you can see the three ones just here. Um, so that's not too bad, it's my first coin of the harvest. <laughs> See a groove all the way around the edge of that. That's unusual. 
don't normally see that, but there again, these are these are more worn than this usually. Anyway, let's carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, I think I had quite a nice little find here. It's quite small, but it looks like I might have a little Roman coin, which is brilliant. I can see some detail on it. I'll give it a little spray and I'll be straight back to you. Lovely. Yes, there we go, look. I've just given it a little spray. And you can see a bust on there. Lovely. That's my first Roman since <laughs> since the harvest brilliant let's carry on Here we go folks, we've got our next find, and I don't think it's that old, but it's that. Um, probably something off a tractor or a tractor trailer. Could be a... Something that we might put reins through, but I don't know, that's... I think that's a bit small for that. Anyway, that's the next find, we'll carry on. Um, it's hard going in the stubble, I knew it would be. Now some of you may have spotted that I've got myself a new spade. I actually got it um, just before I came out the last time on those, and I was using it of course on those few clips you watched earlier, or a little while ago. And it's a McGrafter spade. I wanted one for quite some time, but every time I looked on the website they were all sold out. But I managed to get one in the end, and it's, it's working well, I'm quite pleased with it. I've got it mainly because it's nice and light. It's very difficult for me to get a spade, um, you know, that, that isn't very heavy. Because uh, I carry my tripod, my camera and everything with me as well. So I try to get the lightest one I can, but the strongest one. And I've been wanting one of these for a while. I went on the website and they were available, so I, I, I got it. But I'm very pleased with it, so... Um, some of you have probably spotted that. Anyway, we'll carry on. We'll see what the next one is. <laughs> 